everyone, I'm Lily, and today I am going to be returning to a classic of the channel, and that is doing a thing I would otherwise have to do. Um, and today I am going to be working on some art assets I need to do for Librarian Adil. Uh, I need to work, currently working on adding in a bunch of the, uh, words mean things, assets for, uh, item sprites, because I've had item sprites already for working things, but they've been very much placeholder item sprites, and what I'm going to be doing is kind of replacing them with some more long-term ones that, sure they might not be the final ones, but more long-term, and uh, specifically some of the ones I'm doing tonight is going to be some of the food sprites for, like, food or ingredient sprites, so we're going to be, uh, just go in there and hop in and right over there. And uh, for the most part, my face isn't going to be here. It's going to be down on the screen because I, I, otherwise it'd just be like you, the entire screen would be me hunched over my tablet because I have terrible posture while, uh, <laughs> while doing that. Uh, but I'll catch you over there. Alrighty here. We're, uh, we're here in uh, Clip Studio Paint. Um, this is my kind of, you know, drawing program of choice per just... It's reasons because, you know, something something grumble about Adobe, but honestly I really like the program and uh, yeah, it's what I use. I really do need, uh, this, with this computer I need to set up all my windows and stuff like that. I've kind of done the bare minimum for my workflow for this and then not much else um, since I got my new tablet, but uh, this is what I use. Um, also just tablet-wise I'm using a Cintiq 16, which is, I mean, it's, it's a Wacom, so it's pretty, it's a solid, uh, machine, not a machine, tablet, but it, it has served me quite well. Um, just gonna set the thing, so the first thing up we have here is I set up a, um, let's just move some things around, uh, do, 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 do. um, I just have a plain document here, quick, quick setup. Um, boom me up. Um, this is a 128 by 128 thing, which is the standard for uh, the um, what I've been doing for drawing uh, item sprites. The item sprites themselves are, you know, 16 by 16, but we scale it up just to be able to do a bit detail and, you know, downscaling generally is for what we're kind of trying to do, which is not pixel art. Um, I mean, it will be very pixely because it is still at like a 128 scale, so you'll see lots of pixels, but we're not making pixel art, so we, we can upscale and downscale and we're fine with that. Um, let's blow you up a bit. And today we're making some food. Um, I chose food because I don't need to do a lot of reference images for a lot of these things because they're pretty straightforward or it's up to interpretation how we're going to depict these things. Uh, it's not like, you know, I'm having to look up like plants and what they look like. Uh, which isn't to say that, like, references are bad or anything, but it's just uh, I don't want to have to deal with that because, I mean, my other screen's already held up with, like, you know, one for, uh, making, uh, you know, keeping track of audio levels and things like that. Okay, it's been a while since I recorded. <laughs> um, right here, I'm gonna switch the paper background to, um, do do do. I've been using this one, um, just because it's somewhat similar to what we're doing, and... I have a workflow here that I'm doing. Um, I've been using this lighter pencil um, for most of what I've been doing. Um, it's just, it's it's been nice. I've made a good 50 or so item sprites already for this update uh, in the last like three days, so who oh, I've been doing this a lot. Uh, but yeah, also I just say that like I am no by no means like a professional artist in terms of like digital art. Um, I'm a calligrapher, um, so, which is very, you know, not digital, so I'm actually still learning the tablet and things like that, so this is kind of a new domain for me, but, uh, yeah. So the first thing we're gonna go with, I'm just gonna start off soft, super easy. We're making an egg. Um, I realized that my keyboard is not over here. Um, uh, I'll just name you Egg. Egg. Good job. Egg. 
uh, we are just going to be naming the uh, folders because otherwise I just have the same 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 layer structure within each folder and I cannot be bothered because my keyboard doesn't actually fit at my desk with my tablet here. Um, I need to figure out a solution to that. Um, but for the time being, let's just keep it on the bed behind me. Uh, so we're here. So first off, we're just going to do a sketch layer. So egg is, I mean, kind of the general, um, this is a chicken egg. I mean, if I could read the description I've written for it, it's like, uh, do 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 egg. Um, I, it's just, it's just a normal egg. It's theoretically a chicken egg. Um, the player doesn't actually, you know, use this um doesn't actually like make eggs and stuff because it's it's not a it's not it's not like a harvest moon or like you know stardew valley where like you know food is kind of the central focus because you're you know a farmer or whatnot you're no, you're a librarian there is cooking the cooking is important because you know it gives you buffs and things like that but the more focus is on the cooking part of that rather than like getting the resources like yeah you can have a garden and whatnot but it's more of a supplemental thing um I just gonna sketch out the ovoid. That looks more or less like an egg. Um, I mean, egg is not super complex. Um, I mean, also generally, like, I try to keep it within, like, this area, because, like, this is the actual full item square, but, um, we don't want it to go into the edges necessarily, but egg, eggs are pretty small. I know we can zoom out, we can see like that. Eggs are pretty small, but it's still pretty good. Let's make sure it's more or less centered. Um, that seems good enough. I don't really care about exacts, but, um, generally speaking, that's all I need, um, for egg. So we're just gonna do the line, do that, or do a nice clean line. So kind of the general, um, look, okay, I like to say that the general look I'm trying to go is like, you know, like, you know, 18th or 19th century, like, you know, textbook or like journal, like, natural science book, like, illustrations and whatnot, but, I mean, I'll be honest, it's, some of them have happened to look like that, but really the, the style that I'm going for is whatever it comes out of me that looks okay, because I can't be bothered, and I can always redo these later, it's not like redoing an item sprite is that much, um, is a lot of effort to re replace. It's not like, you know, gutting out a system. It's literally replacing the single PNG file. Um, it's the file structure. Um, I will be doing a video on um, everything that's been going on with Eli since the last video I did. It looks like a pretty good egg. Um, we're doing most of our sheeting and whatnot within the actual color layer, but yeah. Also, I'm going to be bad and not have nearly as many layers as you need. Um, so we can hide our sketch layer. And for something like this, you probably don't need a sketch layer, but I try to stay consistent at least on that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to throw down a base level base layer. Um, I'm, I haven't really been doing palettes and whatnot for the a lot of these. I think I actually kind of want like a nice brown egg. I'm I'm a fan of brown eggs. My growing up, my grandmother in Texas had uh, had chickens. Um, make sure brush density is 100%. Um, otherwise, we will get to a situation where it's partially transparent, and we don't really want that. Right, that's a bit more gray than I'd like, but we'll fix it. This is just the base coat. Um, I'm just, I just turned off the paper here because this is, you know, similar color to that. Um, yeah. I mean, this is, this color vague could be kind of there. And I don't actually mind if, like, there's, like, well, like little stray things outside there. I don't mind. I've been kind of keeping that consistent, um, purposefully, um, because, I don't know, I think it looks nice, um, kind of that sketch feel, kind of like the, the color, like, I don't know, um, now that we have that based coat down, um, I've been sticking with two as for generally a lot of what I want in, because I think that just gives, like, the pencil look as how we want it, um, we can put paper back up, hey look, there's an egg, um, and also just if you just if I flash back between these two very fast, I can make sure that there's no no transparency where I don't want there to be transparency. Alright, so I'm going to darken some areas and you know we're just gonna do a pretty thing. We're gonna lower the brush density now. And we're just going to, you know, have travel along this. 
and it's gonna be a pretty flat color we're not going for like a fully rendered like shade and whatnot we're just trying to represent the shape of it um not necessarily have a full um thing so we're just going to sketch down here boop, boop. come on egg egg so this is something really new I'm trying to do in terms of like showing this on camera I think I did an art video like years ago but I was just like actually just doing it with like my mouse and like gimp oh the dark days oh, let's do a little bit of hair yeah let's go the other direction oops that's not I didn't actually select the thing I want we're just gonna give it a little bit of a sheen up on this tarp. And we're gonna go up and we're actually just grab some like off white. And here we are. Egg. Egg. It's an egg. That'll do. Um, I'm gonna worry actually about like actually like you know exporting the stuff and all that a little bit later because I have to like look up what my item keys are and whatnot and. Uh, it's usually something I usually take out the tablet and switch to my actually having a full keyboard because I have to switch from tablet mode to keyboard mode. Um, but anyway, that was pretty easy. Uh, egg. That's a pretty good looking egg if I don't say myself myself. Um, not all of them are that fast. Uh, Alright, so next up, so we have eggs. So we have a lot of things. Like, I mean, part of the purpose of the update that I'm doing right now was get a bunch of just bulk items out so I can... because the next update after this one is going to be implementing crafting and whatnot and well next version after this one um like big version like pre-alpha 3 is going to be about resource gathering and then pre-alpha 4 is going to be all about uh uh crafting the crafting systems and the skill systems get running and kind of getting things where it's like here is a smattering of cooking ingredients to start building the cooking systems with. There has to be a bunch of herbs for starting to build like the herb lore, um, like alchemy system and things like that. So, um, other things we got, we have butter, cheese, milk, blueberry, grapes, strawberry, honey, walnuts, beef, chicken, fish, flour, potato, cabbage, corn, onion, three and three types of seasoning. Okay, let's see here. Um, I think next up, I probably should have like checked and figured out what I wanted after this. I think next up, you know what, let's... Uh, mm, mm -hmm. Let's... You know, let's just continue with the dairy. Let's do milk. Um, milk. Milk, milk, milk. Alright, so milk. How do I probably want like a jug of milk is probably what we want to be doing. Uh, do, 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 do. So new layer, uh, switch back to you. Make sure our brush density's back up. And crackle, crackle, computer. I know you got it. I need to switch that out. I got some new SSDs and that's the crackle of the hard drive. I don't actually know if even my mic is picking it up, but that's the crackle of the hard drive. And I'm actually recording to the hard drive, which I shouldn't be anymore because I actually have enough SSD space. Because now I have like, you know, two extra terabytes of SSD space that my terabyte hard drive on as I should just be retired um except for like long-term storage stuff that I don't need to access all the time like you know where I record my videos to um all right milk 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 how do I want to do milk so I mean like this is supposed to be like you know like an 18th century like 17th 19th century society um I mean we could just do like kind of like oh let's have like you know jar Look, I'm a, I'm the worst cow. I got horns and I go moo. Um, I mean, we could do something like that, but um, I mean that probably like a, like a jug of milk probably still makes sense. I mean, I mean the thing is we don't actually have to show that. We just have to show like the jug. Like, even if it's not like a glass bottle, like you would say, like with an old timey milkman, because we're not right really at that era yet. Like that, I believe, doesn't start until like, you know, like the nineteenth century. So, it's possible in like cities and stuff, but realistically, they're getting it not like, you know, the classic like early twentieth century style like milkman. Um, I miss my the milkman. I'm um, back in uh, Seattle. We have a milkman that 
delivers. Um, how hmm, about this drove? I mean, this is normally where I'd look up references for like jug. Um, but okay, so let's just thinking just kind of like a thing like here. And we'll make the jug white just to indicate like, hey, this is milk. Um, I want like a flat bottom line. Now this looks like a beaker. Um, yeah, what if we move it out that way? Like, like we're going to have a jug like that. Um, ooh, I like kind of like this like stylized, like it comes over here and we can like add like, you know, like a handle. So it's like here, like a, um, that's not how I want to do the outside first, Lily. Come on. And have something, we can have something like this where it's, you know, it's somewhat reminiscent of like, you know, like modern style milk jugs and whatnot. But, um, yeah, I like, I do like that. Um, obviously I think we could have that like over there. So like the handle, like it's not like, you know, things where like the milk can go through the handle too, to have more space and whatnot. But, um, kind of taper that up then move this around. It will make it like nice and like white and stuff to be like scream like, hey, this is milk. Um, and also this is rather small, like this is kind of like egg size. So let's just get the scale rotate, scale this up a bit and be like, yeah, this is, this is milk. Um, and I'll scale up that looks a little thick. So let's Um, but this is just a sketch, so it's not too important that it's like that. Uh, yeah, that seems that seems okay. Um, and this is why the sketch, even if it's like I could clean this up and make that that, but there's like the the scaling and whatnot is what does it. So if I switch to a free transform, like, do we want to like make it like smoother or like that? That looks start looking like too much like that. That starts looking like a tea kettle. Um, so I actually kind of like the dimensions that we got. Um, I could see going like a little bit thinner like that, but honestly, I like where we are right here. And I'm actually going to center it based on this, not that. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. Let's bring that up and lower the transparency on that for the sketch. And let's... Make it clearly that it's like flat on the bottom. Um, oops. I mean, this this doesn't seem like the one where we'd have like iconography or anything like you know like a picture of like a happy cow on this. So we're not not gonna do anything like that. Um, what? And there we go, there is our base thing. And you now I'm probably gonna like, you know, clean up and make sure the lines, cause it's kind of hard to see where the lines are when you're doing that. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a bunch of clean up of this. And this is going to be a white container, just to be like, yes, this contains milk. I'm um, probably painted like it is one of those things where they have paint at this point. Um, I mean, it could also be kind of like a lighter clay um, that is dyed white. Um, I don't know. It's not too important, but I like, I like that. That's, that's nice. Okay, cool. New layer, bring it down, switch to white. We're still 100% good. Bring up that from where the base coat. And we're just going to, you know, what, actually, let's have it on like a slightly like off-white gray as our base. 
Actually, I might make the handle a different color. I could, I could see the handle being like wood. I need to need go, go for a smaller brush when I get in there. What, what, what? I don't mind having some of like the gaps here, like that we see here. Um, yeah. Clear it out, make sure none of this is. I mean, I know there's probably good ways to like fill this in automatically. But you know what? I enjoy it. Um, the. You know, this is, you know, it's somewhat meditative. It's. And I think these aren't supposed to be like photo representations. Like these are like, you know, in the Bibliomancer's There's like logs of like, this is the items we have in the library's storage and things like that, where it's. It is more representative of the visual depiction of the item rather than the item itself. I mean, it will still be the items right that is on the ground because that's how, you know, representing representing these things works. But I, as part of that main thing, am I seeing any places that are not that are oops that are showing visibility? And yes, I'm seeing a little bit right there. Okay. Um, that's good. And we'll obviously make that a little bit better later. And next up is we want to hit that. And I'm thinking like a nice, uh, thinking like a nice pale, like something like this. And we're going to color that to make it in uh wood, like kind of like, you know, like it's a birch handle or something that to this, should this handle probably be a different layer? Yes. Am I going to make it a different layer? No. Okay, and make sure I, there's a little bit of transparency right there. Boop, 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 boop. Things are looking good. Cool. Um, okay, that's super flat color, flat color. You know, I'm going to be good and actually have it be a different color. And... Yeah, sort of say, and we're gonna have like, we're gonna lower our brush density down. And we're gonna just get like kind of like the. We're not looking for shiny necessarily. Um, yeah, I was like doing that kind of thing. It was like a porcelain or something, but that's that's actually not the material that we're going. We are going for a, kind of like a matte material still. Um, and so I'm gonna just have it kind of be. I'm gonna have some light lighter stuff here, um, here, and then we're gonna have a little bit like darker, kind of like, hey. Okay. That's a bit too dark for my, for what I want, so let's just lighten. Just pass another coat over it to just lighten it up a bit. I mean, this doesn't have to be too much. Like, let's get some white in there. Just has to be enough to kind of like break up the monotony of. I mean, to give it that textured. Um, just give a bit of a bit of a texture on the um to not seem to give it make it look like it was you know it was drawn like it was like sketched and like with like you know and if we like zoom out like we're starting to we get that kind of like okay that has that that it looks nice and matte which is our which is our goal for that and now we want to go through and um no, that's a bit too, that's much too dark. And then just add a little bit of, add a little bit of texturing to that handle. And uh, I kind of want this to be a little bit like, you know, darker near the connection points, and you know, I'll have it come up with like 
that. No, I'll lighten that actually. But otherwise, here we are. And you know, I think that that is for milk. I'm not, I'm not actually sure how much I feel about. It. Like I mean, like it's no egg. Egg is fantastic and eternal. But you know what? It, it conveys milk and. This on its own may not be like, okay, that's a vase of some type, but you know what? It's stylized. It has smoke. You know, we could put some pattern on it. I kind of don't hate that. Or it's like, if we want it to like be like, I don't know, it, it feels kind of plain. Like if we want to like, um, I don't know, what's a good color? Like it would be good. Like even just like a dark, like, so let's switch to an eraser thing all that like. Like, what if we had, like, actually, yeah, let's do, like, a, and then we can, you know, that looks kind of Greek, and that's not really what we're going for. Um... I'm just playing around with some like, you know, textures or patterns. I think I like, you know, like what about like if we just did kind of like, you know, like a nice like muted green and like a, kind of like, you know, like a, f like it's kind of like a, a floral or, you know, thing, kind of like a, you know, like, I don't know. Nature or yeah, I don't need that like because now we can like um from the bottom like have nah I don't like that I like it around the on the head but. That right there I like. I don't know if green's the right color. What if we did like a red? Let's try like a rose. Let's make it a bit more bold. Um, nah, that's not. What if we just like... Oh, I like that. It's kind of just like a, a check. I don't like how I did the middle ones, but... Hmm. Hmm. I'm just playing around. A lot of this I've been doing is just like, you know, playing around with, you know, what looks good. I... I like that. Maybe a bit darker. How does that look? I mean, that looks, looks like blood. That's... I think I'm gonna go back to that green. That green... We hit good with the green. That was... Oops. Tablet's thinking. Come on, there you are. I like that. That's that's where I want to be. Like that's that's some good. All right, that is milk. Got milk, got egg. And let's keep going. Still have time. Yeah. All right, so milk, butter, I mean, if dairies, like we got butter, cheese. Cheese, I kind of want to look up references because I don't actually know what kind of cheese. Like it's just a generic one 
type of cheese because we don't need it as good as cheeses and different cheeses are different. We, we don't need different types of cheeses for different things. Maybe eventually, but not right now. Butter, I don't really want, I would probably do like a pat of butter, but I don't really want to design it. Or like, uh, I could do a jar of honey. I want to look preferences for um, the cuts of meat, because that's something I do want to think. I could do like a sack of flour. Don't hate that. Or I could do some seasoning. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Let's do a sack of flour. Let's do let's do flour. No, I don't. Let's do it. Don't want you. I want you for. And uh, I'll name this later. I'll, I got that. All right. So for next up, let's go back up to you. Let's bring up you. Bring up you. And bloop. Huh. So, I mean, sack of flour, I mean, that's, I don't know, got an opening of some sort, and, ooh, I like that, of kind of like this, like, you know, the bulge out, and kind of there, where it's like, you got this, like, you know, thing where it's like, you know, it, it shows... That there's a lot and let's let's have it bent open and like um you know the the opening doesn't need to be that big I'll I mean boop I don't like that. Like, back to... I mean, we could have it, like, kind of be like, hey, hey, here's this maw, and, like, and, ooh, just flower here. I don't hate that. Um, let's see, like, we could go, okay, there. Yeah, let's, let's see what we can do. Okay, so we're going to have it's obviously like it's on a surface, so we add that here, and we got out of there. And I like to have like a more pointed edge. Um, we got like a drawstring or something like around its thing, and like realistically. Oh uh, no, let's. Do it just like a pot of flour, like go. Hmm, nah. I still think the sack is right, but sacks are hard. Um, I, I still think our best bet is something like. Okay. Foomp. I think we want to keep that kind of like, you know, like the, the rounded edges on the bottom of the sack and then... Welcome to Lily Struggles to Draw Sack. Um... Oh, there. Okay, I think, I think I'm onto something here. Um, got that lump. Got that lump. Ah, I see, I see what's going on. The lump should be going like that rather than that. That, there we go. Um, granted, I think it should be a bit more higher, larger open. And here we do have like a, it, it does have like, you know, a thing. And obviously, okay, so let's get that for A. This is way too small. Um, and 
Okay. Um, let's actually make, I'm just going to make this into a new sketch layer. Um, Actually, I think I think it should be like partially tied shut, so like a bit more like that. I'll worry about the drawstring a bit. get it more on the lines of the scale we want on uh, on this. I think having the like the sack dip open like like that and Like there's some sort of, you know, drawstring here that's not super important. And then we got got some folds in the sack. And um, the otherwise we see in here is we have this level layer of flower and overall we got that. Um, but it's, this is folding open to show us the flower inside, which is here. And for good measure, let's show it with, um, we have like a little mound here and here and another little one. Right here to be like, hey, there, there's there's flour out here, and you you could you could you know munch on it or whatever you do flour make bread, um, and uh, yeah, I like that a lot for the flour. Got there in the end. Um, kind of want to scale it up a little more. Right, uh, just make might as well make sure to check to see like do I like it. Do you want to be a little chunkier or like a little thinner? Mm, no, I think I got it right the first time. And that's more or less centered, actually. Yeah. There we are. I've been making them, I've been making items smaller and smaller, and it's not really my, been my intention. <laughs> Alright, so. Get this here and got you here. I'll figure out the folds that we're actually gonna do. And you know, we have a light. We're actually gonna have like the drawstring cough here. Um, I'm gonna make this right here a little bit tighter. Uh, and then we have little piles of flour. here and got you here Turn off and that looks more or less kind of what we're going for yeah 
I like that. Um, I'm gonna show a little bit more, like, I can see a little more curvature in the actual flower. I, um, Because realistically, th th there would be still a lot of fabric here that would be like the, um, that would be like the, uh, where you'd actually like, you know, draw clothes even. This is like a full black flower because if the flowers are the brim, you can't, you can't close it. Um, and I like that. That I think looks good. Right, let's get our base layer of color down. Um, first off, let's just do the flower. Easiest one, flowers white. Um, and we're gonna keep flower being white. I know, like, not all flowers white, and we might, we'll probably like make it a bit more yellowed, grainy. Um, once we add some other colors, but for the base powder color, it's white because that's what people think of when they think of flower. They think of, you know, white, white flower. Um, I mean, that's, that's kind of like the there's the balancing act of okay, this is what's accurate to the setting and like or like the time period if you're doing like something where it's actually more period and not like meet up and then there's like what is familiar and shorthand to the player and so many of the time the shorthand of the player is so important like and the thing is if this you know it's a setting that you've made or something like that there's only so many more lingual so like everything that is unfamiliar can be good and it can be a boon to the game but little things if they're unfamiliar, can can distract and actually be an impairment to um, the thing. Actually, I kind of want to fade these a bit. I'm just going to go over there slightly with an eraser. Just right to you. Um, but it can actually be an impairment to the player. So basically, I think I just could have like a nice heavy, like, that's a bit too dark. Um, that seems exact like color. Um, let's increase the size a bit while we're doing this. Um, I should come up a little lighter. Yeah, now that's a sack of flower. Um, we'll probably do like some like, we'll, we'll do more texturing once we got this down. Um, but making these like things like, you know, I could look up like you know historically accurate flower and like what that looks like and whatnot and like you know the flower being like not pure white it wouldn't be something that would honestly be a detriment but I think that they actually add up like if you have too many things that seem weird um or unfamiliar to the player you can the player can lose their ground um groundness but uh, and it's one thing that's like it's it's easy to be like no this is this is how things have to be like this is how things work in my world and whatnot and for like things that are like period pieces um like things like that where it's like oh here doing actually real so world stuff like actually having like anachronisms can be more dark jarring um and that's a whole different thing entirely especially with people who came for like you know the fact that it's just a historical piece and whatnot but for when something like fantasy or something where it's you can still run to anachronisms and whatnot where it's like okay things that don't make sense like my my thing is like you know these supposedly like medieval things like um like stories and games and whatnot and then it's just like yeah they just have modern hair and makeup and I'm like that that mm, you lost me um but um yeah but it's it's i don't know i don't know where i'm going with this but there, there are just times where it's it's accuracy isn't necessarily the important thing in terms of uh that so that's nice flat color and it's not too bad and I like how that turned out so let's just get that also let's just make sure that I'm not seeing any transparency I ran into transparency problems early on um, with a few of them and I didn't uh, it was bothering, bothering me let's bump you down and let's get a little bit of extra like you know color a little bit of yellowness for like the grains and what on the flower. Like still predominantly white, but 
Put a little bit of that in there to be like, hey, this is... It isn't purely processed flour, like this is like a natural flour. And both like there's like the gray and the tan of the bag and like the white is, is, is stark, it's translating and people know that, hey, that's flour. Um, boop, boop, boop. Um, I think actually, I think maybe made the ankle of her pose on these piles of flour a bit too steep for flour. Um, Cause I mean, flour is super fine and like will spread out a bit much more but um you know i don't i don't know care that much um it, it gets the concept across um so next up is just the stuff on the actual thing so this bag we do this a lot is a lot of a lot of this where we're gonna be just kind of like doing lots of vertical motions well vertical along the mesh of the bag and And this is a bit lighter color, but that's okay because we're looking at, so we're trying to follow like, we're following the, um, stitching of this bag. Um, where it would be like that. And we're going to go like stitching like that. Boop, 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 boop. And we're going to give that a little bit of texture. Now we're going to go um, a little darker. And we're going to go the other way. We're going to follow this way and we're gonna really give that woven look to this bag just kind of just very lightly with her strokes and I think it's like you'll see a lot of details that just like I mean I would see this and I'm like okay there's these are very obvious strokes and whatnot but um by the time you can game because this I mean like granted grimmer it's gonna be the size and it's actually be scaled down even further than that for the most part um because it's only 64 pixels across um and and things. I got that. Now I'm gonna get some more vertical with the darker this time. Got the lighter, got the darker, and don't need too much of the lighter. Now we're gonna go back to that neutral tone. That's like kind of what we started with. Um, I get show me the color history. Um, it was this one, right? No, that's too dark. Here we are. That's right. And we're just going to kind of like even out this whole thing. Um, and like we got that texture, which yeah, it doesn't look great close up, but you look about, hey there, there's our sack of flour. And uh, there, that is flour. And you know what? There we go. So we got we got our sack of flour, got our jug of milk, and we got egg, milk, flour, flour, egg, and yeah. I only have like uh, thirty-five more. Uh, no, closer to like forty. Only like forty more items to go before I can release uh, pre-alpha three point two. But uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> And there we have it. That's all wrapped up. I mean, granted, it was just three, but I mean, that's kind of the process that I go through. And now I just have a lot more to go through to finish. I have like a hundred or about a hundred or so different sprites I need to finish before the end of this version. But uh, yeah, uh, just as a note, I, I do know it has been ages since I put out a video. I'll probably be putting out in the next few days. Okay, a week, uh, sometime. I'll put kind of a general update video. Um, as you can tell, I'm in a different location entirely now. Uh, so that's, there, there's been a lot going on. Uh, but I definitely want to get better about getting back into this and getting more consistent and getting something that works and get a better lighting setup. Because the current lighting setup here is eh, um, but I need to get actually my actual lights and whatnot, and I'm just using a ring light right here, which is like, oh no, it makes my skin look gross, new, me. Um, oh no, it's been a long while since I recorded my face because I forgot to change the focus to be not mm, refocusing all the time. Uh, and what is it, like 
what, five minutes on camera, so it isn't even the end of the world. Uh, but yeah. I'm not dead. I hope you aren't either. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful night. Or whatever time it is where you are. And after a while, after once again, may your story smile upon you. 